You need to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate every bit of growth, even if it's only 1%. And you need to learn to laugh at your rejections. You see, the game is played in rejection. The game is played in incremental growth. If we take this into another type of uh, situation, let's take, I love to snowboard and ski, or so we could do snowboarding, skiing, we could do surfing, something like that. When the first day you're on the mountain, you don't do so well, do you? You kind of fall over the place. And hopefully you don't sit and beat yourself up. Yeah, you want to be doing better. You want to be flying down the mountain, going off those jumps, like all the people that you really love, people you're watching over in the train park, but you can't yet. It's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little work. It's going to take incremental development and you got to celebrate every success. I finally learned to do a, a toe turn. I finally learned to ride a little bit of switch and I'm switching back and forth. I'm, you know, you're learning all these little things, one after another, after another, and in time they build on each other. And if you learn to have fun with every little step, everything is going to change much quicker. So let's talk about what I think is one of the biggest mistakes men make when they're trying to get better with women. And one of the biggest mistakes I see men make, and this is actually in all personal growth, but particularly in trying to get good with women, is they're really hard on themselves. They're constantly beating themselves up. But let me give you an example. I'll take a new client out or one of the coaches will. We'll be walking down the street and we'll say, go talk to that beautiful girl. This guy has almost no experience talking to the beautiful girl. Uh, beautiful women in general. So he goes up, says hi, maybe asks the time, has a short conversation, walks back, and then beats himself up. Why? Because I didn't get her phone number. Like, that was like the first girl you've talked to. Matter of fact, she was even nice to you. She smiled. Is there anything good about it you can say? And they'll say something like, well, I didn't screw it up. That's not something good about it. That's something negative about it. And what I want to invite you into is this idea that if you are really bad at seeing your growth, and I'm not talking about huge growth, I'm talking about the tiniest little things, like you gotta learn to celebrate every win. If you're really bad at celebrating your wins, even if they're only 1%, you're just gonna take you a long time to get good with women. Because every time you go beat yourself up and attack yourself, after you approach a girl, go meet a girl, go on a date and you didn't have sex with her, or she doesn't wanna go on a second date with you, but you've never, you've hardly ever been on first dates before, and this is maybe your first or second one, then every time you beat yourself up for something like that, when you're actually doing even 1% better, you're telling your subconscious mind, disregard that growth. And you're doing it over and over and over again, because you're not learning the lesson. You see, we grow in increments. We usually grow a little bit at a time, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%. It's a little bit at a time. It's a curve. And it doesn't look like much is happening at first, but with time, your growth starts to take off. So when you first start approaching women, you're up in your head, you're nervous. If you relax just a little bit, you'll feel a little bit better, maybe get a little looser. Maybe the women still won't respond well to you, but you'll feel your body relaxing. That needs to be celebrated. Then maybe you keep approaching it. Maybe you do four or five more approaches, you start to relax more. And eventually you feel the sense of your heart warming up. Learn to feel your body because all communication is body-based. So you start to learn to feel your body, you start to open your heart, and you communicate and you can actually feel this sense of warmth in your heart and she feels it. She has a nice conversation with you. Maybe she doesn't give you her phone number, but she enjoyed it. And again, you're beating yourself up. I didn't get her number. I didn't get sex with her. Maybe you can get a little lower in your body and start to relax a little bit more and you start to feel your power. And she kind of thinks you're interesting. You can even see her lean in a little bit. But then she's like, nah, I got a boyfriend. I'm sorry, but, uh, but it's really nice talking to you. And again, you don't celebrate the growth there. You don't grow, celebrate the success. You need to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate every bit of growth, even if it's only 1%. And you need to learn to laugh at your rejections. You see, the game is played in rejection. The game is played in incremental growth. If we take this into another type of uh, situation, let's take, I love to snowboard and ski, or so we could do snowboarding, skiing, we could do surfing, something like that. When the first day you're on the mountain, you don't do so well, do you? You kind of fall over the place. And hopefully you don't sit and beat yourself up. Yeah, you want to be doing better. You want to be flying down the mountain, going off those jumps, like all the people that you really love, people you're watching over in the train park, but you can't yet. It's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little work. It's going to take incremental development and you got to celebrate every success. I finally learned to do a, a toe turn. I finally learned to ride a little bit of switch and I'm switching back and forth. I'm, you know, you're learning all these little things, one after another, after another, and in time they build on each other. And if you learn to have fun with every little step, everything is gonna change much quicker. 
And this is huge. I remember taking a friend of mine out and we, we, we took him snowboarding and he was watching all these videos of snowboarders and he was online and seen him jump through the air, professionals doing all this stuff. And he couldn't wait to get out there and be on a snowboard. He got out there and what was the first thing he did? Bam, right on his face. And then bam. And he spent the whole day was going a little bit, falling down, going a little bit, falling down. And boy, was he pissed. He had this idea that he was going to be like those guys in the, in the videos. Or he had this idea that he was going to fly down the mountain at least fast right away. It just doesn't work that way. It takes a little bit of time. If it does, you're lucky. Great. Celebrate that too. But if you give yourself those incremental little growths, you can go from a beginner that can barely stand on the board, or in this case, a guy that can barely talk to women to a guy that's so calm, so centered, so confident in his body that women are pulled into you like a magnet, getting one date after another or getting that girl of your dreams. It is very, very possible. But you got to learn to enjoy the process. It's all about the journey. Because in the end, when you get the goal, you're just going to pick a new journey. And do you want to spend the rest of your life hating the journeys, chasing the goals? You're not going to have much memories to look back on. You're going to be miserable your whole life. And that sucks, doesn't it? So again, how can you start today celebrating every little success, making your journey fun to being a guy who's amazing with women, developing the dating life or the relationship of your dreams because that's ultimately what it's about isn't it and that's what the women want to see the truth is to get really good with women you have to be phenomenal with rejection like i love myself matter of fact if you check out my last video before this i talk specifically about that that when you learn to love yourself and you learn to really appreciate yourself despite what the women think a lot of them are going to be intrigued matter of fact some might reject you and then wonder why he's still so happy and then get curious and want to get to know you a little bit better anyways it's pretty wild how much women love a man who's indifferent to outcome, who they can reject, and he stays happy and stays turned on. They get magnetically drawn to him. Actually, not just them, everybody does. I love hanging out with people like that. They're my best friends. They're the people I wanna be with, male or female. And that is a powerful come from, because then your happiness is based on how you choose to feel and not how the world makes you feel. So with that said, just get out there and have a good time. Learn to go out and build on those 1%. Learn to change your life a little bit at a time and practice celebrating every success. Get a journal, write down every little success every day you get when you're out practicing. Every little bit of growth. I don't care if it's one one hundredth of a percent or one one thousandth of a percent, write it down. And then every night before you go to bed, read that journal and imagine all those successes and have gratitude and appreciation. Celebrate it, dream about it, fall asleep to it. And then wake up the next day and your subconscious will be programmed a little bit more with this new sense of expectancy. Because you are a man, you're built to be attractive women, you're built to polarize them, you're built to be naturally attractive. All you have to do is get past that subconscious belief that tells you you can't. And that's done a little bit at a time. And you can do it. I know it. I believe in you. And I can't wait to maybe someday meet you at a workshop or a seminar. That would be awesome. Please like, please subscribe, put some comments down there in the bottom of the video and, and actually write down some of the stuff you're celebrating that uh, you just did with women. Like maybe you went out and did some approaches today. Maybe you went on a date. Maybe you got a phone number. Put it down in there, whatever it is for you. Maybe you just relaxed a little bit more and got comfortable. Maybe you got rejected and laughed. Put it down in the comments. I really want to hear those comments. And uh, remember one more time, only the confident really live. See you in the next video. Take care.